And welcome back to Ragecraft 2, this is episode 10, and um, I'm heading down here to Herman's house, or wherever his face is, and uh, yeah, Herman the Recluse, here's his trade, I'm gonna nab these four diamonds, booyah, that's a lot of diamonds to get, and uh, you can't do that trade again, like, y you'll put, like, your, your two items in, and there'll be an X, I believe, pretty sure, <coughs> so yeah, that's that. And uh, yeah, I got that, that quest done, I guess. So, bah, bah, bah. all right, let's head back up the ladder and head uh, onwards into Little Empire. Hopefully, uh, completing the castle either this episode or the next one, so I can uh, basically beat this area, I guess. Uh -huh. I know there's two wolves in this area, so uh, you know, just finding one and taking care of that's not going to be the end of it. But uh, yeah, I've made lots of progress in this area, I guess. And, uh, what not. My throat is still not quite fully, um, voice, uh, perfect yet, I guess. I still have a bit of voice recovery to do, but, like, like, the cough is almost gone, and the sore, th the throat doesn't hurt anymore, and definitely the, um, you know, the general sickness that I felt over the past five days is, like, gone, and, um, kind of happy about that, but, yeah, my voice is still really annoying and, uh, uh, scratch, scratchy, I guess. And I can't do, like, high-pitched noises, like, ah! that, that kind of noise comes out when I try to do that, so that's still a problem. But, um, yeah. <coughs> I shouldn't cough, like, nearly as much this time. So that's gonna be good, I guess. Alright, so I believe I should go over here next, even though I started exploring, exploring the castle. So I'll be, definitely want to be going after that this episode eventually, but all right. Got two, and man, there's just so many places to explore in this area. Lots of blocks. That's nice. Okay, and there's probably a spider spawner on top or a creeper spawner. No, you don't, Mr. Creeper. He fell from a large height, and I thought he would he would be close enough to uh, explode, but I guess not. Yeah, I act accidentally activated the trap trap door. All right, taken care of. Is there any? Is there? Does the path continue this way? I don't think so. Usually, um, you'll know if, if a path continues if there's either spawners or this uh, cobblestone path. But since it wasn't, I guess I think this way is heading towards the castle. So yeah, let's head back up here. Now I know there's a second checkpoint, like really high up, that I could block up to, and I'm not not sure if that's in intended to block up to that checkpoint. But I'm pretty sure if I just go up here further and like go past the castle or something, I'll uh, find that checkpoint as well. So I'll look out for that. There should be like a split in this in this path that heads. Uh, to the castle and then to the checkpoint. But uh, let's see, where does that wooden path lead to? The wooden path in the sky, over there. And I think it, there, there's like a a path through the uh, mushroom thing that heads back out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to see when you're going up here uh, from the eh, further down. God. Stupid skeletons knocking me into creepers. <laughs> what the? T wow. So many freaking skeletons. I, I just got juggled and jumped to a tree somehow. You have an enchanted bow, so I want to kill you first. Eat. Keep regening. Alright, I think that should be all the skeletons that were going crazy on me. But I want to kill that witch for sure. Oh yeah, I didn't mention yet. Um, upgraded my bow to power three and breaking two, so yeah, that's gonna be good. <laughs> All right, let's actually go up here and not be punched away by skeletons. That's crazy. And I'll probably be going through this building like backwards or whatever. But here's this checkpoint. 
Yeah, this is a much better checkpoint than uh, the first one, so I'll just unlock it. I don't really, really need... Actually, I should, probably should drop off these emeralds, uh, now that I think about it. Uh, I, I, I don't think I have enough for another emerald block, but uh, I'm getting close. Like, now that it have, I have this boost of four emeralds, I have some junk on me, so I'll want to be putting stuff in the crap chest. I like how the crap chest is, like, right next to the uh, food chest. There might be some uh, cross contamination there. Hey, maybe. Wood. And then I put my emeralds in the blocks chest. So I've got six out of nine right now, so three more, and I'll be able to uh, place the next block. Don't have many levels right now, do I? So I'll be want to. I'll be trying to be careful about not needing to repair anything anytime soon. Now we have unlocked the teleport to Little Castle 2. Kinda wanna check this just in case. Okay, so there's nothing nothing up here. I don't, I don't think. Alright. So I think I think the last thing the only thing I've left to do is take on the castle. Yay. Oh boy. Oh boy. <coughs> I remember the castle being quite um difficult. There's a lot of dwarves that uh, reside in this castle. I'm not sure if there's anything else to explore in this area. Might be a couple of buildings I missed or something. Maybe some side areas. But, um, yeah. Go, go, go. Stop being nauseous. So I explored a bit. I explored this a bit last time. I cleared a couple of rooms. So... Yeah, should be not as swarmy right now. Definitely want to be lighting up everything. Because you never know where spawners are hidden. Although, yeah, Alicia doesn't, doesn't tend to um, hide spawners. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, should be able to head, head around here and escape. Definitely not my choice of escape routes, though. Yeah. Oh my god. It's such an insane trap. Okay, let's, let's get some regen on. Once, once this poison ends. Alright. <laughs> so many cave spiders. So the, yeah, there are those kinds of traps in this um, map that just spawns a crap load of uh, cave spiders or whatever and they can be pretty deadly um, if you don't manage to escape like that and they're pretty undetectable, I mean look at that I, I guess the, the chest was on top of something like that and that was kind of obvious that that would be a trap or whatever but yeah for the most part there's no like um, e e exposed trap mechanics that will tip you off too easily about them so Gotta be careful. Don't wanna, don't wanna be uh, dead from one of those kinds of traps. I mean, you saw like I lit up the entire place, so it looked like it was gonna be safe. But yeah, th th that kind of trap doesn't uh, rely on darkness and whatnot. So what the software update for my phone. I don't care. I'm just using it for a timer right now. I don't think the timer. It's going to be updated significantly in <coughs> any updates to come. Okay, looks like there's nothing. Wait, what the, what, the, what that arrow hit? I shot it and like hit something right away. Hmm. What is this? There's creepers out there, but can they find their way in? I don't, I don't think they can find their way in. It's interesting. Just like a grate there that's tipping them off to my location. Alright, let's kill this, that, yeah. Okay. Of course there's a creeper trap spawner behind this thing. Ugh. Alright. Kind of want to just unlock this thing and kill the spawners behind it or whatever, but meh. Light it up, light it up, light it up. Okay, so this is what's across across the hallway from there, and I know where there 
I know where that is. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. I was a mile away from you, stupid hard mode creeper expectations. Creepers on hard mode are really ambitious about their explosions. It's like, it's like, if I explode from this far away, surely I'll hit him. But in reality, they're like five miles away and they don't even touch you, so... Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Make, makes them, you know, blow up when you don't really want them to. Ooh, hello. Axe of the Dwarven Commander, not bad. But I like my smite sword. I hear a lot of spiders. I'm not sure if they'll be coming out anytime soon. Yeah, they're right there. They're right there. They're right. <coughs> there they are. Speak. Whoa. Come on. Eh. Sketchy. Stupid pyros that hurt a lot. Yeah. Just hide in the creeper trap. Did one of my pieces of armor broke? Break? No. Huh. Felt like I was doing get getting dealt a lot of damage there. Let's just look at this axe. See what it has on it. No, it's not bad. It's got sharpness three, knockback two. Uh. So yeah, it'll it'll do quite a bit of damage, <coughs> I guess. But um, nothing I would use as a main weapon for now. Especially when I have this sword. So yeah. Re replenish my torches. Don't really have anything for this item slot at the moment. Might actually replace it with that, but I don't know. All right, set back out here, out there now that I'm relatively high HP. And yeah, let's, let's take care of this opening. Might want to just seal seal off one of these, just to make it easier for the other one. Because I know this spider's coming out of this one. I want to make it spider-proof. And I like to check under pillars, I guess. That's where a lot of spawners tend to be. Ender chests and anvils, that's going to be nice for repairing and storing. Yeah, thing about this castle is um, when you hang out at, on this level, there are things spawning on the higher level that can um, fall down and make, make it a bit more annoying. Especially zombies and uh, dwarves and whatnot. And then they start piling up on the higher level, so that gets annoying. But let's just take out these stupid skeleton. That skeleton's gonna be gonna be bug me. Take you out or not, because I can't shoot when I'm trying to open a chest apparently. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Yeah, that's right, fight each other. That's that's nice. Okay. Now I can take out these spawners, hopefully. Knock you away, shoot you, shoot you, shoot you, and then shoot you again. And these are instant health ones, they're crap. Oh the middle one's two, so that's not bad. Oh look at you pyro, you so so easy if you're not already attacking me. Uh, all right, let's head this way. I think be the next place. Run away, cause there's skeletons. And they're annoying, and there's creepers as well. <coughs> creepers and skeletons go together really well because uh, the skeletons, you know, they pin you down, they make it hard to move, and then the creeper just. Uh, finishes you off and blows you up because the skeletons put you in that situation. So yeah, that's why they're usually together and owning you. Mm, fire resistance, not bad. Put away some crap. And then we went no creeper. Look at that position. You can do damage in that position, can't you creeper? Oh come on, get out of here. Stupid creeper dancing on the edge. Oh wow, he dropped two pieces of armor. It's rare, I guess. Oh yeah, they're starting to notice that I'm killing the friends out here. And that creeper just needs to stop. Die. 
There's more creeper. Another creeper up there. Come on. Stop positioning yourself to be deadly. And I'm out of arrows. Okay, that's really bad. Um, probably shouldn't have been spamming my bow so often. Let's just go in here and light up these pillars. And then run back out. Hopefully. Go, go, go. And let's head to the end ender chest, I guess. So I can, uh... I don't know. Let's see. Because I can put away these things. 29 levels. And I have uh, chain armor that could be repaired. I guess. But what I really want now is arrows. So, I'm not sure if I should just be looking for chests. See if I can find some arrows and some chests. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go out here. Light it up, light it up, light it up. Those look like natural spawns, but I don't know. No arrows, that skeleton's gonna be annoying now. Oh god, two skeletons. Hello. That was close, he almost hit, hit me. Enough skeletons. Skeletons are so annoying without arrows, because you, you have to go up and melee them, but they knock you back in it. Bah. I know I have some arrows now from killing the skeletons, but not enough to be using them yeah, yet. Two arrows, not good. <coughs> hate it when I'm low on arrows, it just limits my bow usage, and that's always annoying. So I think I explored this side of the uh, outside of the castle, so I'll be going through here now. I think this would be a good place to open up an entrance. Aha! Saw you spawn. Spawn or under the jukebox or whatever. Emerald, yay. I just need two more. Yeah, two more for another block. Oh, I don't know. Creeper. Creeper in the flowers. It's not, it's not going for me, though. Whoa. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Sketchy pyro. Actually, don't want to waste an arrow. I can take these guys easily without shooting them. Should be a spawner around here somewhere, but for now, I'll just light it up. Alright. Stupid skeleton. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Run away. Let's head out of here. Hopefully nothing waiting for us on this side. Okay. Just want to go away, get away and eat for now. Oh god, skeleton, so annoying. Another... <sighs> Screw your spawners. Okay, now I got him at a truck point. Oh god. You would. Yeah. Sketchy, sketchy, just run back. Oh, why are these... Just, I keep missing these spawners and then running back and finding their spawn somehow. And before they weren't spawning so I never like found the spawner. Ugh. And my strategy for like survival is basically just running back. Okay, these are gonna break soon and I really want to keep them. So I'll probably take them off now. Come on. That was social zombie spawning, that that wasn't even a spawner. Oh, no armor drop all. Oh, he had enchanted stuff. Okay, let's just drop, drop off some of this crap. And... Okay. Ugh. And that was an annoying situation, but we got out of it. And now we know where some spawners are. Alright. Give me more arrow skeletons. And let's head back to where we were exploring. Uh, anything spawning? Did I check this chest? No, I didn't. Free arrows, finally. No. Bad. Uh, protection 3 book, that's actually really good. Oh, that spawn flame. Okay. Oh boy. 
I see how it is. Okay, yeah, there's creepers that are gonna fall from there. I can use my bow now that I've looted all those arrows. But I definitely want to keep an eye out behind me because creepers are tending to like being behind me now. Oh, come on! Yeah, see that? I was like a mile away from that guy. Ugh. Like, he had no chance of hitting me like, whatsoever. And where did that spawn from? Yeah, there we are. Sneaky creeper spawner. Alright. Back here, try to light up the top. Because I know that that's where the creepers are going to be spawning. <coughs> Probably shouldn't waste my arrows on this guy. I think he has proje projectile protection in his armor. So, well, actually, eh, I don't think so, actually. You don't usually see enchanted armor on these kind of uh, custom mobs. More torches. Should probably head up there. Oh, what the? No. Ow! Stupid 1.7 uh, hit time. Boom, boom, boom. Half HP just gone. And my armor suffers as well, so... Oh, come on. Are they spawning down? Oh, yeah. yeah that explosion blew up that torch there, so... Want to light that up? Oh, he took out my staircase too. Come on! <laughs> Stupid, annoying creepers. Fall gold zombie. I was a mile away from you. Come on, creepers, be sensible. Jeez, these creepers are just so ambitious. So ambitious. Okay, let's get up to your spawner, creepers. Bad. Could use some legs though. They're not really giving me legs. Alright, can we path up here? I don't think they can actually. So. Ugh. Da da da. No, probably want to just take out the spawner now. <laughs> After that. Ordeal. Spawner, take him out. Eh. Ooh, cake. Cake. Might as, well, might as well nom on it. Ooh, ooh, pillar. Yeah. Pillar juke. Okay, this seems pretty safe in here. Don't see any spawners right now. I'm gonna take that out just in case. <laughs> Give it hidden creeper spawns. Ooh, hello. Duh. Uh, oh. What? What? Oh. I was like, what hit me? What the hell? It looked like punch, but I don't know. Hmm. Can I not explore that down there? Weird. Apparently I missed a couple of rooms on the ground floor. There's legs I was looking for. Let's put those on. And these are not bad, so I guess I might keep them along with my boots. Is there anything else in this chest? No? no? Okay. Grippa! Looks like there's a spawner in here that I didn't completely light up. Eh. Stop it! Where you? Where you come from? Eh. Okay. Let's head upstairs, I guess. Okay. Behind me, you know. Okay. I always check behind you because they never know if there's a creeper or a dwarven elite just waiting to smack you with an ambush. And yeah, there we go. Could have downed half my HP really fast if I uh, don't notice something behind. These zombies are just falling from up there. Where are you coming from, zombies? Ew. Ew. Probably a creeper spawn in that corner over there. Behind me? No. Okay. Give me your armor. Yes! Come on, big money. Ooh, not bad. 
Now it's gonna spine though. Doop, doop. Okay, let's light up this corner. Pretty sure there's a spawner somewhere. I don't know. Ooh, okay, so we're um like at the top now. Don't want to be running too rashly into here though. Come on, creeper. Calm down. Look at that. Uh, mining while I turn and run. Pro. Definitely want to light up creeper spawn before you uh, mine it up because when spawns while you're mining, uh, kaboomy. Kaboomy, I guess. <laughs> Ugh. Spawn on top. Nope. Just a chest with. Is that a diving helmet? Meh. I'm not gonna use that anytime soon, I don't think, so. I'm just gonna keep it in there. Am I really this full on inventory? I guess so. Uh, there's an ender, ender chest. Uh. <coughs> a bit earlier on that I can utilize if I need inventory space. Just gonna light those up and then go up here. No spawner. Okay. Ender pearl, meh. Might use it eventually. And I see that spawn <laughs> creeper for one thing. I get him? Yep. Okay. Let's just uh mine it up mine it up from below. Skeleton, where'd you come from? Must be a spawner in there. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I should probably call this an episode. So um yeah, thanks for watching episode 10, and I'll uh, see you next time for episode 11. We'll hopefully we'll be completing this castle, basically. So, uh, yeah, see you next time.